Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, after a lot of demand from my customers on Etsy, I'm going to be giving you guys an updated tutorial on how to make your own decals. Now, this method is going to provide a lot more versatility than my previous template. It is slightly different, however, it is still very simple to create your own custom decals at home. Um, the other template that I had made earlier and showed you guys how to use is a really great template. You know, you drag and drop. Um, it's great, like I said, because you have a lot of different options. You know, you got your square and your half and half. However, this new template that I've curated is good for those who wanted different sizes. A lot of people were talking about, you know, your pinky sizes, your thumb sizes, and the middle fingers. Um, so this is going to be good for that. And then we also have a bunch of different lengths. So 12 new templates have come out. So I'm going to show you guys um, how you can use them. Like I said, it's slightly different. So once again, we're going to start from if you have purchased the template, you're going to get come to a page like this. It's going to give you, you know, your instructions like last time. Um, however, this time, you know, you're going to click on your nail decal templates. Once you click on that, it's going to bring you here and you guys are going to see a little bit of a preview. So it's going to show you all that's included. So now this template is the ultimate decal bundle. So this is including all the new lengths and all the new widths that we have um, all in one bundle. And this will be included in the um, description down below if you're interested. Um, so yeah, we're going to click use template. It's going to tell me to sign, to log in. If you guys don't have an account, here's where you would create one. Um, I'm going to use this account. Okay, so we have logged in. And once you log into your account or create an account, Canva is free. You're going to see all your templates, whatever you've purchased, or whatever software you're using. If you're using Canva, this is where you would see your templates. So like I said, this is the ultimate decal bundle. It comes with eight different decals and different widths and lengths. So I'm going to show you guys just how to do a couple of them because it's the same, you know, pretty much when you do all of them. We have a 1.1 pinky. So all of the three on the left side, um, the left... The one on the left is a different size, that's for your thumb. The two in the middle are the same size, and this one is your pinky. The one that's changing is the pinky, so 1.1 for the pinky. And I recommend the 1.1s for people who are doing press-ons who don't really need to worry as much about having an apex and all that stuff because it doesn't need to be as wide um, for application. And then those who are like using it for acrylics and doing acrylic sets, um, I would recommend the 1.3 pinky because it is slightly bigger, so it would um, be better for you know your apex and all that good stuff. So we have the 1.1 pinky and the 1.3 pinky, and then we have the 30 mi mi ugh, the 30 millimeter, 40 millimeter, and the 50 millimeter lengths. And then our bonuses are half and halves that you would have seen in the last video if you watched it. So um, I'm gonna show you guys just how to do a couple. Um, we're gonna do the let's do the 40 millimeter length. Um, so we'll just first, if you want to delete and you don't want to use all of these templates, you just click here, delete page, delete page. Um, what I would recommend though, guys, before you even start getting into this, I would recommend that you, once you open up the copy, you make a copy and just have that copy as the one that you just keep making copies for so that you don't have to keep going back into the um, PDF to access the template, but it's up to you. So we're going to delete that. We're going to work with our uh, 40 millimeter length and then delete these ones. And we'll do, and so that's the 1.3. And then we'll work with our 1.1 half so I can show you guys how to do both of those templates. So to begin, we're just going to zoom in a little bit. So before with your other templates, what we had to do was just kind of um, drag and drop. Um, you know, drop it into this. This one is slightly different. As I said, you know, you get your different sizes and whatnot, but it is slightly different. So what you're going to do is upload your media. So you'd go to your pictures and kind of find um, an image that you would like uh, to use. However, this time around, um, I showed you guys in the last video, if you're interested in seeing how to find images, you can check out Pinterest, um, Google, and whatnot, but we're just gonna use the photos that they have provided for us here. So um, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, flowers. Let's say flowers. So we'll search flowers and see what they have available. So say we really like this, we're like, yep, we want this on our nails. What you would do is kind of line it up. So we're working with the first template here. 
and you see it does kind of line it up for you um, which is kind of nice you want to stretch it out you can do that or if you're like nah I kind of want it to just be like the first half um, you can do that and you can kind of move it you know I just double click there to kind of move it around now you're like okay this is perfect um, I want my temp my nails to look like this all you have to do is click send so I just clicked on this right click you're going to click send to back. Oh, was it right click or left click? Yeah, right click. <laughs> send to back. And this is what you're going to get. So it's going to automatically go behind the template. And you can have like, you know, those cute patterns. You couldn't do with this with the last template. You could only drop them in. But now you can do like the cute little patterns and stuff like that. So if you want to just, you know, move it around, you can go like this. And then say so you like click out of it and you're like, oh, this is perfect. Or not perfect. You know, you kind of want to move it around. When you click on it, it's not going to really allow you to do that so what you have to do just click on click on your left the top of your mouse on the left just drag across and you're going to get the blue highlight and now you're able to kind of move it around move it to this side move it here move it wherever and you know delete the image if you'd like uh so yeah so we're just going to add these flowers you know we're going to go like this place it over top line it up and we want this one to be the whole image and then we're just going to click on it right click send to back and it's all perfect so you're like yep this is good you want it like this this is fine huh. so i have some pictures on mine i'll show you guys like an example of what you can do um so Okay, so we have black marble, right? So it's loading here. And this one, we want to do some black marble. We just click on it. Say we want to turn it a little bit. You can do that. Now it's covering everything. Just go like this. You know, move it how you want it to be. Line it up like so. And then actually say you're like, you know what, I only want it to be half this time. Just put it half. Um, if it goes over into the other side, it's fine. You can fix it later. So send to back and you're going to see it kind of creeps over a little bit. Just go like that. Move it up a little teensy bit. And you're good. So that's how you get your, you know, marble. Now what if you want to do, I don't know if I have any photos in here. Oh, we have Ariana Grande from the last one. Something a little bit smaller. You want something like this. We will just take the photo like so and you're going to make it smaller. If you want it to just fit in the one nail, I like to zoom in a little bit so I can kind of get in close and work with it. Um, make it smaller like so. You're going to send to back and then you can kind of edit it and you can even make it smaller while in the nail and just move it around until you get it to how you please there you go and this is this is um the reason why this template is a little bit more versatile is because with the other templates you know it's great you can drag and drop it's really super easy for beginners um however you can't really move the template exactly how you want or the photo exactly how you want to move it inside of the picture because sometimes it only allows you to make it a certain um size right this allows you to kind of make it as big see like i said you can't click it you just go like that make it as big as you want and then like i said if it's too big you just kind of go like this and do your croppings but it obviously you're not going to want just to see your hands honestly i don't really know what you guys want but or you can just go like this go like this go like this like whatever you choose it's a little bit more versatile so if you want to have like you know, I see some people do like some the writings like carry over into the next um, templates is for people who want to get nails done like side by side. So they'll have like decal side by side. You could use this. It's a lot more easy. So that's how you use it for this one. It's a lot. It's super simple. Like I said, just send it to back. And like I said, if you want to kind of edit it and you're like, shoot, because when you try to click on it, it's going to be like locked. It's not going to let you move it. So you just kind of like take your the left side of your mouse and drag across and it will let you access the template again or let you access the image yeah so that's how you do that you know and then we're going to go to this side and this is the same exact as it was for the other template what you're going to do for this 
just take a picture go like so and just move it to size like that's literally all you do hey guys so i just came to the realization that i showed you guys how to put a png on here but i never showed you how you can cut out the png which is very very important it's a vital step to adding you know these photos at the bottom of this um half and half so what you're gonna do is search up an image i already did it but i recorded it without sound so i'm gonna have to do it again <laughs> but you're gonna find you want to find an image that is clearly i search up drake you want to find an image that is clearly um distinguishable is that the right word uh from the actual thing that you're trying to keep so, you know, white is best, but something like this might be able to work because, you know, you can clearly see the... Is this a GIF? I don't think so. You can see clearly see the blue um, background. So, let's try this one. Let's give it a shot. You're just going to save the image. Save it. We're going to go to my favorite app. So, this is called uh, remove.bg. All you have to do is search up background remover and it'll come up background remover. And it's probably like the first one. Yeah, it's the first one there and it'll come up. What you're going to do is it's going to start off like this. You're going to click upload image. You're going to click the photo that you just found. Upload it. And see, boom, it removed the background quite nicely. You're going to click download. It will download it for you. And then what you're going to want to do is head back on over to your template. So now you're going to click upload media. It's the last one here, Drake1, one, it said remove BG. You're going to click on Mr. Drake, and you're going to zoom it how you want it, place it, and whatnot. Now, um, this is, like I said, very important. Make sure that you remove the background if it's going to be on one of these things. Because, for example, say you just posted the Drake1. Uh, without the background removed, without it being a PNG, you're going to have this image as a sticker. And I don't, or like a decal or the, the top. I don't think people really want like the color like that behind it. So people mostly, for the small ones, just want it to be a clear background. So I just recommend that you guys use their background remover. And I'll let you get back to the video now. And like I said, these are great for people who just want kind of like, I wouldn't say like stickers because, you know, you're still printing on a nail decal, but like those small little decals, like you might do, for example, a whole set, like, and then just add these on top as little like finishes, What whereas these might be like a full nail. But yeah, it is very simple. Um, like I said, if you guys are interested in find, like figuring out how you can find pictures um, and like a little bit more of an in-depth about like all the little stuff you can check out my other tutorial that i have on here but this is just uh to kind of show you guys the new uh template that we have and like how if you know which one might suit your needs a little bit better so um after you kind of make your template you're you fill in everything you're good with how it looks i'll show you guys how to fill in um the one half one too so we'll use some uh, marble again so we'll go like this just go like that like this like this and send to back obviously you don't have to do it like you can see we're gonna go like this and drag it there because we want it to fill the whole thing you can make it only four if you want and do whatever you want to do but yeah um then if you want to change your name, all you have to do is just click on there, change your font, change your name, type in whatever you want to type in. We now have a spot for your website if you'd like to put your website. And you guys, like, if you honestly wanted to add some type of social media thing down there, you could easily do that. You could just copy and paste the text box. It's not a hard thing to do. Um, only if it fits, obviously, because some of the templates are longer, like, we do have a 30 millimeter and it, you know, you'd have a lot of space in at the bottom to add some extra stuff and the 50 millimeter as well, but the 40 millimeter takes up all the space. So it just depends on what you guys choose to do. So then what we would do from here is um, download. So what we want to do is click download. And like I said, it's very, 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 so important that you guys click it to save as a JPEG, JPEG. 
jpg whatever that is jpeg you have to click it save as a jpeg um then you're going to click download it'll download your image for you once it's downloaded these things will pop up x and you're going to get a zip um because it's two things that you downloaded here uh you can extract it i don't know if you have to honestly but i do it anyway so extract extract here and then it'll open it up so we'll open this up let's pretend this is all filled in it's all good to go it's perfect exactly how you want it to be um you're gonna click print and this is the printer i have the canon ts5300 5300 series and it automatically like sets it up for me so you know we have it on landscape orient um orientation landscape now this is important but your paper guys this is a4 so this is for the a4 size papers and majority of you guys if you're printing this on water slide paper which you should be if you're making nail decals um it's going to be a4 size the thing with some of the templates that are online or even like my oldest version that i have those ones are you know you can put them on a4 paper however it's not going to use up the entire space Whereas a template like this, like I said, is going to go from one side all the way to the next side. You're going to get the entire space to use um, instead of kind of wasting that excess paper because we all know the um, the water side paper is not too cheap. So your printer is going to kind of fill in the settings for you. But once you do that, you're going to click print. And then after you click print, sorry, I love to print it and show you guys. I'm actually going to make another video when I'm making my own decals. Like I said, I'm starting um, a business. So it's going to be happening sometime this month, actually. But I just don't want to use any of my paper right now because um, I'm saving it for later. So I will show you guys that in a, you know, another video. Um, just click print for now. And then once it prints, you're just going to want to spray it with um, some like a clear coating spray. Um, I got mine from Amazon. You can get yours from Home Depot, <laughs> literally Amazon, Home Depot, Michaels. Um, and then after that, I let it wait or dry for 20 minutes first, by the way, then I spray it. And then after that, you're good to go. I cut it and then it's ready to go. So this is the templates. Like I said, if you guys are interested in the templates, you can check in my description bar below.